light god damn it hey you go run that red light you fucking bitch god i hate this fucking light hate everything about this fucking light god anyways uh, congratulations to the three winners and thank you for everyone for coming um it was great turnout i didn't think it was going to be this good but y'all really impressed me with how many people joined um another huge thanks to uh Sapo, uh, thank you for joining. It was great. Great talking to you. Uh, Downshift83 joined. Uh, Jake the Garden Snake, Baker X Derek, um, Minnesota Motor Vlogger, uh, Motor Swag 41, um, Faulty Life joined. Uh, big thanks to you guys. Wouldn't have been there without you guys. And, uh, meant a lot that you guys joined the live feed and stuff and uh again i have six foot four hundred you too thanks man you guys are great we definitely got to hold more of those um instead of having to have an occasion but yeah that was a lot of fun if you weren't there the video is up uh a ton of fun uh, like i said so i think we were on there for like four hours it's fucking crazy <laughs> The topic we want to get in today is the fucking snooze button on your goddamn alarm clock. Am I the only one that hits that shit like 20 fucking times before I get up? God damn. I swear, it's every morning I wake up at like, like if I have to be at work at 11, I'll wake up at 10, right? I'll wake up in time. But I'll hit that snooze alarm like 20 fucking times. So I won't wake up till like 10.40. That's how I always fucking do it. I don't understand why I do it like that, or why I do it, but for some reason, being on time for me is just completely out of style. If you're on time, then you don't got style. So, to use snooze alarm, I always get to disable you off my alarm clock, but at the same time, when I wake up in the morning and I'm able to hit that snooze button, damn, does it feel good. That feeling like after you like right as you're going back to sleep, uh, that's like God. It's like God petting your head. He's like, "Had a boy, yummy. Go back to sleep." But I love slash. That, that's like kind of that love hate, love slash hate relationship with the uh, with the uh, alarm clock. I love it to death. But fuck, man. I can't stop being late. I mean, I'm not late yet. Got to be working five minutes, but I'm kind of ten minutes away. So, kind of in a little bit of predicament. Ooh, edible arrangements. Now open seven days a week. Fuck your fruit. Fruit fucker. But, so what do you guys think about the snooze button? And if anyone was at the event last night, how'd you guys like it? Anything you'd want changed in the next event? I'm open for all ears. Man, if a Prius couldn't get gay enough, you put like a little bow on it. You see it right above the hybrid synergy drive plate? Put a little silver bow on it. And for the record, guys, that Prius in my driveway is not mine. It is my father's. When I used to play travel ice hockey, um, he had we had to drive 40, 40 miles. Uh, 40 miles. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So... That was before the Prius was like really came out. It was there, but no one really cared about it. So I, uh, so he got that for me, or for us, to save on money going, you know, hundreds of miles every single week just for my uh, ice hockey. So, Father, I appreciate that, but the Prius is gay. But 
Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go to work. I am super de duper de tired. Shouldn't probably stay up till 3 a.m., but whatever. But other than that, what does I say? Wait to text. Wow, wish everyone would fucking do that. But anyways, guys, I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head out of here. Everyone, take care, and uh, I'll see you guys on. Wednesday. I hope everyone enjoyed the uh, dual log that was yesterday. All right, guys. Peace. I'm trying to get the helmet off of him, but he's got some kind of shit on his ear. <laughs> so does so does he. <laughs> <laughs> he's got some kind of shit on his ear. <laughs> <laughs>